What's up guys, it is I, once again, Mr. Gamer 990 and welcome to another episode of Trailer Reactions in which I react to trailers of upcoming video games for you guys and gals. I'm doing a very similar series on my other channel in which I talk about movies, television, anime, etc. I'm going to add the link for that channel down below in the description box. And for this week's episode of Trailer Reactions relating to video games, we are going to have a look at Quantic Dreams upcoming Detroit Become Human which was directed by David Cage who's very well known for making such video games like Indigo Prophecy, Heavy Rain and of course Beyond Two Souls and Detroit Become Human has been said to be the return to form for Quantic Dreams and David Cage when it comes to their video games the ones that they produce I beg to differ because aside from the gameplay of Beyond Two Souls, I found that their games have remained very faithful to the kinds of stories they tell. There's nothing that sets them apart from each other, aside from the gameplay of Beyond Two Souls. There's really not much to return to, so whatever the hell that means, okay I guess. So without further ado, let's have a look at Quantic Dream's upcoming Detroit Become Human. <laughs> You've been gone for two weeks, so the place is a mess. You do the housework, the washing, you cook the meals. That's Alice. You look after her. Homework, bath, all that crap. Got it? Right away, Todd. Carla. That's her name. Carla. Aren't you going to school today? Little Angel. I'm sure we used to be friends before I was reset. Maybe we can be friends again. You shouldn't mess around with my stuff. It makes me nervous. I'm sorry, Todd. Who are you looking at? Maybe you think this is easy. Maybe you think it's my fault your fucking mother took off. Fucking whore walked down on me for a fucking account. Come back here. You stay there. Don't you dare fucking move. Alice! Daddy's very mad. Jesus. Fucking asshole. It's all over now. Daddy isn't angry anymore. This is all your fault! Mothra! He's coming! He's gonna hurt you! Run! Get away! Or he's gonna break you like last time! I mean, there's a lot to digest when it comes to the gameplay trailer of 
Detroit become human but when you guys and girls saw me react that way when I was like what did you do to her and uh, you fucking murderer or you murderer like that that's how I normally react when I see you know a little girl or just any children who's being abused and likely killed in the case with Todd and how he killed his little girl I forgot what her name is if they even mentioned her name I think her name is Alice but it's really sad the fact that this girl has endured a very abusive relationship with her father, her father being the abuser, and Kara, the uh, android who's been, you know, assigned to take care of her, and to please that sick fucker that is Todd. It's really sad, guys, and I really hate to see a little girl like that in peril. And it's very beautiful to see, you know, Kara care for her, and the fact that this little girl is very much like a daughter figure for Kara, and there was actually a small project a short film actually which was known as Project Kara which was released many many years ago which was before the release of Quantic Dreams Beyond Two Souls Project Kara was a very beautiful short film which shows Kara and the fact that Kara has so many emotions emotions and feelings and fear that makes her human it's that very feeling that very emotion that makes her human which also makes her very dangerous for humankind because because people see androids who are able to feel as liabilities and something to be feared. It's very sad because the androids in this world, the world of Detroit become human, are being shown prejudice because of the fact that they have emotions, they have feelings, and likely they have intentions the way humans do. There are three specific androids we might play as. They are Kara, Connor, and Marcus. They are being treated very differently because of the fact that they are androids. And since Kara, Marcus, and Connor are androids, they are made to do as they are told, not to have any feelings or to have any intentions or free will. Free will which does define us as human beings. And these androids are going to prove to be more human than the actual humans who created them because they do value human life. Such human lives like Alice, a very sweet, innocent little girl, a little girl who Kara felt obligated to help and to protect against her own father that abusive fucker who is going to hurt her and it's very beautiful this kind of story and why I love Quantic Dreams so much they produce such heartwarming stories like Heavy Rain Beyond Two Souls and of course the upcoming Detroit Become Human these are the kind of stories I look for you may like or dislike the gameplay as you see fit but in terms of the story that Quantic Dreams tells all of their stories are so beautiful Beautiful, and they do have so much heart and so much soul to them. I really love these kind of stories. It's very clear at this point. I am most looking forward to Detroit Become Human, and I hope you guys and girls are too. This gameplay trailer looks absolutely amazing, and the choices which are given to us, the players, I can't wait to witness the consequences of our choices, whatever our choices may be. It's going to be very exciting and very interesting to say the least. But thank you guys and girls for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video if you did please like comment subscribe if you wish and please do check out my second channel where i talk about movies anime television etc and until next time peace out take care adios amigos au revoir and sayonara